We've all been there, you've just smashed a driver off the tee, you're thinking, that's so good, that's so... Oh, who put that fairway bunker there and how do I get out of it? Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, just take one second, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. On this channel, I bring you guys daily golf related content that helps you raise your game, lower your handicap, and hopefully just gets you enjoying golf that tiny bit more. In today's video, as you can see, we are covering fairway bunkers. We are at the beautiful Sadiat Beach Golf Club. We're on the signature hole, the 16th hole. And this may well be the biggest bunker I think I've ever been in. Now first off, let's talk about when there's nothing in your way and you have a pretty long shot in. I've got 210 yards in here, there's no massive lip and I'm into the wind. I'm going to hit a hybrid out of here and let me talk you through just how you play it. So first things first guys, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to dig my feet in like you would do in a greenside bunker shot because that lowers yourself, it lowers your centre of gravity and it lowers your arc. What I'm not trying to do here is play this like a greenside bunker shot. I'm not opening the face, trying to splash it out. I'm trying to pick this golf ball off the surface. Tiger Woods once said that when he plays fairway bunker shots, especially with long irons, he imagines he's stood on a cart path. Especially with long irons, he imagines he's stood on a cart path. So he's trying to pick that golf ball off the path get the loft to the ball and get the ball up near the green. The second thing I'm gonna do is grip down the club a little bit, maybe an inch or so, because thinning it is a lot better than fatting it, and for me, it's always the lesser of the two evils. Now let's try and put those two points in action for when we're a long way away without a huge lip in the way. The flag is just to the right of that rake you can see there, about 210, 220 away. Grip down, nice high stance, and then I'm gonna sweep the club away nice and low to the sand, without touching the sand, because that would still be a penalty. Let's see how it goes. Oh! <laughs> I should definitely listen to myself more often. How good was that? Now what about when there is a lip in your way? Let's discuss. And actually, we've just missed the green on the right, but that's okay. So now guys, you can see here we are 150 yards away, there's quite a big lip behind me, but luckily we are on an upslope. It's mega important to gauge the severity of the slope when you are in a fairway bunker. If you're on a downslope, you're going to need to take way more loft. If you're on an upslope, that's going to act as a launch pad, just as it would on the fairway, and you don't have to worry about the loft as much. Also, a real quick point in fairway bunkers, if you find little stones and rocks, you are okay to move them because they are impediments. And also while we're talking about the slope, just check what the wind's doing. If you're on an upslope and you're into the wind, that's gonna kill the ball. And if you're downwind, you don't wanna be catching a flyer that has no spin and just flies 20 yards long. Okay, so now I've checked the slope, I've checked the lie. I'm now gonna just open the face ever so slightly on this eight iron. I just want plenty of loft. Yes, I want to be attacking, I want to get it on the green, but the main thing for me here is that I get the ball out of this bunker, I progress it forwards, I don't catch it heavy. So I'm gonna take the same stance as we took way back there with the hybrid. I'm not gonna dig my feet in. I'm also gonna grip down a tiny bit more just with that slightly open club face. Now from here, I'm not gonna worry too much about picking it off the top because I don't wanna catch it thin and hit the lip. I am gonna try and hit down on it ever so slightly. Just like I would off a fairway, I'm gonna try and compress the ball nicely and take a small divot after the ball. So perch on top of the sand, grip down ever so slightly, face a touch open. By no means the best bunker shot I'm ever going to hit, but it's out, it's up there, and I think we may even be putting. So guys, there you have it. That is how I would play a fairway bunker shot from 210 yards further back with no lip to contend with. 
also from 150 yards with a bit of a lip to contend with. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like, make sure you hit those comments below. What would you like to see next? And as always, if you're not a subscriber, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave this video. Massive thanks to everyone here at Sajak Beach Golf Club. The course has been amazing today. The food's been amazing. Everything's been pretty much amazing. Make sure you stay tuned for more content coming from here. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. And we all know this is a results-based business, so I'll just show you exactly where those two shots finished. We have eight iron here on the green and the hybrid just tail off to the right, but we can deal with that. <laughs>